Just to reiterate, on Inauguration Day, President Biden said he would fire anyone that treated another colleague with disrespect, talked down to someone, and they would, he would fire them on the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. So what is the White House's message to people that work in this building and throughout the federal government that took the president at his word and don't understand why Dr. Lander has not been fired? Our message, and thank you for your question, is that um, the president has crystal clear uh, expectations with all of us about how we are to treat uh, our colleagues, treat people who work for us, um, and that is what he expects for people across the building. It is because of those comments that he made early on, uh, in part, uh, that we put in place a safe and respectful workplace policy that it was the mechanism for which this thorough investigation went forward. Uh, and it also, it is based on that, uh, that thorough investigation from that came the meeting that Dr. Lander had with senior White House officials where it was made clear what steps he was required to take and that we will be complying and watching for compliance with those steps. And our objective is, of course, to prevent um, any of this behavior from happening again in the future. That's the overarching objective. But those were our comments. Those were our promise. Absolutely. That's why he, we put in place a policy to ensure there is a mechanism for investigating and a mechanism for preventing this type of behavior from repeating itself. But he promised to fire people that did this, uh, that did this, and he hasn't fired the individual the White House found violated what he said. I understand it. And again, let me just reiterate: nothing about his behavior is acceptable to anyone here at all. Quite the opposite. Let me be clear about that. But there is now a process in place that was not in place at the time to evaluate and determine what the next step, the steps should be taken in the event that any behavior like this occurs to prevent it from happening in the future. That is exactly what happened in this case. The federal, federal employees shouldn't expect that people will be fired if they treat colleagues with disrespect. Again, I think I've outlined very clearly what the process was. Go ahead. Yeah. Two, questions, um, two questions for you, excuse me. Two it's, questions. More th it's more than that. I think it's clear that we are putting in place, we put in place a process, an internal process, to ensure that there was a thorough investigation, that, that, the, uh, that it was evaluated, that steps were taken for this individual, Dr. Lander, to meet with senior officials, to make clear that there were requirements that would, were, would be put in place, and he was expected to comply with them to prevent this behavior from ever happening again. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I'm not convinced. Yeah, it's pretty crazy watching her sit there squirming and trying to respond to what is clearly a broken promise of Joe Biden's that he would instantly fire anybody who he found working uh, in the White House that was being demeaning to women or sexually harassing them. And here we have an official who is accused of doing that very thing and, uh, according to Sakir, has been investigated but will not be fired <laughs> because we all know why that is. I mean, it's just different when they do it. But I'm not joking when I say this. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. Everybody, everybody is entitled to be treated with decency and dignity. That's been missing in a big way. And what did you all expect? Joe Biden himself has been accused by women of being inappropriately touched or sexually harassed, and you all just gave him a pass on that. But then you believed, for some reason, that if people in the office, in his office, were doing that very thing to women, that he would fire them on the spot. You all are just gullible. It's pretty clear that the Democrat Party's only concern in any of that stuff is what it can do to benefit them politically. If it can't benefit them, then they're just not interested. It's like I always say, the only legitimate scandal is one involving the Democrats' political opponents. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Just a quick one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, and you can really help the algorithm by leaving a comment to let us know what you think.